Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So I've got a very exciting Magpie video for you today. So Magpie have recently launched their Build Me Up collection, which is a builder in a bottle. So build a gel, so you can create extensions with this. You can do overlays on natural nails. Um, so obviously we've already got the Magpie Give Me Strength, which is the gel strengthener, which is amazing if you haven't got it you definitely need to try it um it's amazing for natural nails doing an overlay making thing making natural nails stronger it's great for sort of mixing glitters and pigments and all of that jazz um so this is the sort of um stronger version of give me strength so give me strength you could do a small extension with it you wouldn't be able to do sort of a re very long nail extension Whereas obviously with Build Me Up, that's what it's been designed to do. So you can create gel extensions, um, but obviously it's in a bottle, so it's a lot easier to control and things like that. So there's five colours and then we've also got the Don't Be Tacky top coat. This has been uh, reformulized so that this is an actual dry cure top coat. So originally don't tacky was designed just for chroming so it still was slightly tacky in a way um to obviously get the chrome to adhere to it really well and obviously as if you've seen my other magpie videos using don't be tacky you'll know that it sort of dimpled a little bit and you just had to let it settle so the reformulization of this is you can use it to completely finish off your service so it's a top coat you can use it with whatever colours you want to or things like that you don't just have to chrome with it you can still chrome with it it's still amazing to chrome with um but obviously it's now a no white top coat that you can use um as a top coat to finish everything off so what i'm going to do for the beginning part of this video is just show you some swatches of the colours obviously we've got clear buff naked blush and cloud I'm not going to show you a swatch of clear because obviously it's clear, but I am going to show you a consistency difference between the build me up in clear and the give me strength clear. I'm going to show you the swatches of the four other colours and then I'm also going to do a demo for you on how to use them sculpting and with tips. Um, and I'm going to use my practice silicone hand Regina Falange to show you both of those demos so but they're going to be right at the end of the video for you and i'm going to use the don't be tacky no white top coat to finish off the enhancements so this is a really exciting video so i hope that you guys enjoy it but let's get into looking at the swatches first okay so the first one that i'm going to show you is blush so i've done three coats of this onto the clear nail pot this is what i would probably do for a nail enhancement or a nail so that's what it looks like coming out of the bottle and i have actually used the new don't be tacky to finish off the nail so it's completely and utterly dry it's amazing you don't need to cleanse and you can see how super shiny it is so obviously this is um a sort of pale pink colour. I would say this is probably the sheerest out of the four colours. Um, but as you can see, it's not too sheer, but I would just say this was probably the sheerest out of them. So that is blush. Then next up, we've got cloud. So again, I've done three coats of this because it's potentially what you would do on a nail enhancement so obviously this is a sort of off white color it's definitely not as uh, white as plain jane um this is what it looks like in the pot so you can see it's definitely more of like a milky white i would say and again, I use the Don't Be Tacky No White Top Coat to finish that off. So that is Cloud. So next up, we've got Naked, which is a proper sort of cover pink. And um, the coverage on this is really, really good. So and again, I've done three coats of that. 
So this is what it looks like in the pot. So, and again, I've used the no wipe, don't be tacky top coat for this swatch. But again, like I said, this is a proper sort of cover pink. The coverage on this is really, really good. So that is naked. So then the last of the swatches we have buff, which I would say is the best coverage wise. It's again, another cover pink, um, but obviously just um, a more pinker version of the cover pink. Um, obviously with all of these, I reckon you could get really good coverage, but this is the one that um, I would say would be the best coverage wise. So that's, so and again, I've done three coats of that and also use the no wipe, don't be tacky top coat. So that is buff. So now I'm just gonna get on to show you a comparison between the Build Me Up Clear with the Give Me Strength Clear. Okay, so here are the two bottles. Obviously with the Give Me Strength, it doesn't say clear, but this is the clear one. It does also come in peach and rosa, which are two cover pinks as well. So obviously with Give Me Strength, it's slightly runnier. Hopefully you can kind of see what that is like consistency wise. So, and this makes it obviously really easy to use on top of chromes and um, on top of glitters, to mix glitters with, all things like that. So, and then this is the clear Build Me Up, which is obviously a thicker consistency. So you can see it's clinging to that brush and it's a lot thicker. There's no sort of running with it or anything like this. So that makes it perfect for doing the extensions. So that's just a quick comparison between Give Me Strength and Build Me Up. So here are the four colored builder gels all together. So we've got blush, cloud, naked and buff. So, and just for a color comparison to the Give Me Strength colors. So here we've got Rosa and this is Peach. So I just kind of wanted to show this to you guys so that you know sort of color wise what you're getting. So now I'm gonna get on to do the demo uh, showing you how to use the Build Me Up gels with tips and sculpt sculpting. So let's get started. So I've put a couple of tips on to a couple of the nails and then I've obviously got two that are the normal length. So on the on the ring finger here, I've obviously applied my clear tip and sort of prepped and buffed the nail. So I'm gonna get some of the Magpie Prep and Dehydrate. So I'm gonna rub that over the nail. Like that. So I'm going to use Build Me Up in Buff to do this. So, and this is how you would do a natural nail overlay as well, this same process, because obviously we've already got sort of the tip here. So, you would do exactly the same process. So, I'm going to do just a thin layer of buff and remember you don't need to use a base coat for this so I'm going straight on with build me up and then I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds okay so once that's been fully cured I'm then going to do a second thicker layer so this is obviously going to um, build my apex.
Okay, so then once you're happy with your sort of general application, um, you can just let it self level or you could get your client to turn their hand upside down just to kind of um, let gravity do a bit of the work for you. That's completely up to you what you want to do um, but this is a self leveling gel anyway so it will sort of self level on its own so when you're curing this second layer I would suggest just doing it on um, the low heat mode on the magpie lamp um, this obviously helps limit um, the amount of heat spikes that you get so I would do that maybe for about 30 seconds and then you cure fully for the 60 seconds Okay, so once that's been fully cured, I'm then going to go in with a third layer because obviously this is an extension and it is a longer nail. So if you've got longer nails, this is what I would suggest that you do. Just like that so I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds so now that that's been fully cured I'm going to get my lymph free wipe and my prep and dehydrate and just take off the tacky layer of the gel and get my 180 magpie file and I'm just going to do sort of a slight file and refine Okay, so once that's been filed and refined, I'm just going to get my prep and tea dehydrate again just to cleanse the nail and wipe all the dust off. Then I'm going to get the new Don't Be Tacky, so, and I'm just going to do a nice even layer over the nail to finish it off and then cure in my lamp for 60 seconds. So again, I've already sort of prepped and filed and buffed the nail using the magpie prep and dehydrate just over the top of the nail then going to get one of the new magpie forms I don't know if you can see that there you go so and then I'm going to use one of the new magpie forms so and you take the tab out and you take this little bit off here and place it around the back like that. Give the form a nice roll just in between your thumbs. So, obviously we want to make sure that this is nice and flush to the natural nail. So we're essentially going to do the same thing as we did for the one with the tip, it's just obviously we haven't already got that tip underneath. So I'm going to use Build Me Up Naked for this. So going to do a thin layer on the natural nail and then I'm going to roll off some of the product so this is where I'm going to start sort of creating the um, extension like that so then I'm going to cure this in my lamp for 60 seconds so and then once that's been fully cured then I'm going to do a second thicker layer just like I did on the previous one
just like that. So then again, I'm gonna have it on the low heat mode for 30 seconds to um, help prevent heat spikes and then I'm gonna cure for 30 seconds. And then just like before, I'm just gonna do another third layer because obviously this is our extension. So we wanna make sure that it's nice and strong. And I'm just gonna cure that finally in my lamp for 60 seconds. So now that that's been fully cured, I'm going to take the form off. And just like before, take off the tacky layer with some prep and dehydrate and get my 180 magpie file to shape and refine. Okay, so then I'm just again going to grab my prep and dehydrate just to wipe off the dust and use my no wipe top coat. And I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So then there you have both of them and obviously just to finish off, like I said, I'd use some of the Magpie Cuticle Oil just to massage into the client's skin and everything. So there you have all the swatches and a bit of a comparison um, in consistency for you, as well a bit of a comparison between the cover pinks in Give Me Strength to obviously the Build Me Up um, cover pink colors. And obviously I've just done the demo for you um, for using it with a tip. So technically you would do the same for an overlay on a natural nail and then obviously with sculpting um, I'm really really excited to try these out on my clients um, I think sort of the most popular colours for me might be buff and blush potentially um, but we'll see um, I might also try and do another video um, because obviously I have got the other two nails on uh, Regina Falange, my silicone plastic hand, um, that I could potentially do a couple more demos with, but I don't want to do it in this video because otherwise it's going to be really, really super long for you guys. Um, so, but thanks to Magpie for sending me these as always. These are all available on the website now, including the Magpie forms as well. Um, so I'll leave the links down below for you guys for where um, you can get this from. As always, I hope that you liked this video guys. I hope it's very informative for all of you Magpie users out there who already use, you know, the colours and give me strength. Um, I hope this has helped um, in some way for you guys. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye.